I'm going to read for you a poem written by Jim Bobby. It's a misrepresentation of Robert Service's classic, The Cremation of Sam McGee. This one's called The Cremation of Canadian Democracy, with apologies to Robert Service. There are strange things done neath the Canadian sun by politicians lusting for power. The backroom boys have their techno toys that would make your blood go sour. The ballot boxes have seen sly foxes, but the slyest they ever did see was on election day, the 2nd of May, when they butchered democracy. In 2011, for the 41st time, Canadians lined up to vote, but some dirty tricks from some rotten pricks delivered a hell of a note. Nefarious brains launched their robo-campaigns, designed to perplex and confuse, and keep opponents away on election day by a scurrilous, illegal ruse. They gathered up lists of those who insisted they'd vote for the other guys. In a robotic way on election day, they launched their attack by surprise. They phoned up their foes and told them don't go to the poll designated before. They used misdirection to steal the election, turning politics into war. The scoundrels, it seems, used Republican means of out-and-out -out voter suppression. From their friends in the states, they learned how to take over rule by repression. They studied, took notes on how to stop votes from going to liberals or dips. Without conscience or shame, ever shifting the blame, pointing fingers and flapping their lips. Accusations were flying, democracy dying from disease more deadly than cancer. And up in the house, a pugnacious louse refused to provide any answers. Del Mastro the clown jumped up and sat down, sputtering words of defense. The air he polluted with words convoluted, he just didn't make any sense. The victims were blamed, and a scapegoat was named as they tried to silence the fuss. All by himself, a cheater in Guelph was tossed under the CPC bus. After so many scandals, the cons had a handle on playing the blame game routine. With great feigned conviction, they rolled out a fiction by the name of Pierre Poutine. Poutine was the one, that son of a gun, who robocalled all on that list to lead them astray on election day to polls that didn't exist. Just one guy gone bad, this fictitious lad with opportunity, motive, and means. Though he didn't exist, he got voters' lists and mounted an illegal scheme. Though Dino kept trying, the people weren't buying his unlikely explanations. The public's too wise for Del Mastro's lies, his deflections, and obfuscation. The truth will win out, of that we've no doubt, the guilty will not get away. Justice won't fail, they'll be sent to jail, those villains of election day. There are strange things done neath the Canadian sun, by politicians lusting for power. The backroom boys have their techno toys that would make your blood go sour. The ballot boxes have seen sly foxes, but the slyest they ever did see was on election day, the 2nd of May, when they butchered democracy.